Hey guys, the objective of this video is just to have a quick discussion of deflections, just to, to provide some background on what we're going to be doing in the example. So just so we know, uh, we're going to be looking at our continuous span again. So this is the bending moment diagram. Now the maximum deflection is going to be given as this, WL to the power of 4 on 185 EI. Okay, we're going to talk about this what, what this IE effective is now. But what I want you to realize is that the deflection is based um, on the I value. So the I value is going to be very important in working out the deflection. But the problem is when we're looking at our span, so let's say we're looking at our continuous beam, we're going to have a bending moment diagram like this. Now what's going to happen is that along our beam, so if this is our beam, in higher regions of moment, so say in the um, hogging there and say the maximum sagging over there and there, our beam is going to crack, okay? So we're going to get variations of uncracked, cracked, uncracked, cracked, uncracked, cracked and uncracked, just say for example like this, along our beam. And what that means is that in the uncracked section, obviously the moment is such that it's less than the cracking moment, which we've seen in the past videos, which means that we have to use the uncracked values. And in the cracked sections, the moment now experienced is greater than the cracking moment, and that's why it's cracked. And therefore we have to use cracked I values, okay? So what this means is that along our beam, we're gonna get, have to have different variations of using cracked and uncracked properties, which makes it quite complex. Okay, it's not, it's not a simple beam where it's just all uncracked or all cracked. So what the code does is it comes up with this formula to find the effective I value, which takes into consideration the variation of cracked and uncracked values. And the I effective value is given as I cracked plus I outside of I minus cracked outside of M cracked on M star, um, M star S to the power of cube. So just that section is to the power of cube to the power of three. Okay, just to show you in that standard, it's 8.5.3.1. So 8.5.3.1. If we look at this, it's set, there's the formula over there. So I've just rewritten it, okay? Um, and now we need to be talking about specifically for our case. So I'm gonna go through what all these mean in the, in the example we do, so don't worry so much about it now. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. 